here we are. Thanks for letting me hit your ride over. No problem. You sure we can't drive you back? Nah. Feel like stretching my legs. It isn't far. And anyway, can't put the wind in a bottle. <laughs> All right. Tessa should be at her parents' grave, not far from the entrance. Look for a big, crooked tree. You can't miss it. I'm gonna go check in with my uncle. Good luck. For real. You look pretty spooked. I've never been a big fan of cemeteries. Especially after, you know. I promise after this we can chill at the house, cool? So, do you ever come back? Keep it down. Better? I don't know. Probably just a mirror here on me. A what? A PC. A could do. Yeah. Anyway, have you been back here at all since the funeral? No. Never had a reason to. Thankfully. Mom, why do we always come here? Does it bother you? No. It's just weird because we don't know any of these people. I mean, except Eddie's mom. It never hurts to say hello. Because they're very lonely. That's right, sweetie. And sometimes, even if you can't see them, they stay with you. In here. Always here. Mom? <laughs> Always. She loved us. A lot. Sometimes it was like loving us hurt her. Do you think she was just really scared of losing us? Maybe. Yeah. But I don't know. I mean, most parents are scared of losing their kids. Well, here's the crooked tree, but no Tessa. Let's check around for her parents' grave. Just to make sure this is the right spot. You think it's possible Michael remembered everyone? Well, I've done inventory with him before, so yes. Wait, is this the one we called the Big Crookedy? The exact one. Why didn't we call it Gnarl's Branching? Total missed opportunity. <laughs> because we weren't hip to basketball back then? Or CeeLo Green? Damn. I remember it going all the way- De Leon. That's the one! <sighs> Don't tell me we missed her. Hello, Mr. Eagle. Kids. It's time. Okay, and we'll get something to eat. The day of the funeral. I barely remember it. That's probably for the best. I don't think either of us are exactly eager to relive what went on behind that gate. So, uh, I know I said we didn't have to visit her grave. But it feels like the right thing to do. Yeah, exactly. Last year, it was really hard on him. He's still feeling it. Long time no see. Do you want some company? Come on over. Make yourselves comfortable.
So. Is this a bad time? With you? Never. Don't mind me. I'm not really here. Hey, I get to see your ugly mug almost every day. You're old news, lady. You wound me. Deeply. <laughs> so, can I help you guys out somehow? So what was your uncle like? Oh boy. Where do I start? Y you know that one grumpy grandpa in all the sitcoms? The one that types like a T-Rex and never leaves his recliner? Uh, just how does one type like a T-Rex? You know, uh, almost kissing the keyboard. Like, it makes you look like you got tiny baby arms. Like a T-Rex. Never change, Michael. Anyway, as grumpy as he was, they didn't make him any sweeter than him. He's the kind of guy who accepted you for where you were at. Even when he didn't approve. Not many of those out there. Talk to you later. You bet. So, how are you, um, holding up? The sooner this is all over. So far, it seems like everyone in town's got an ugly secret. Please don't let me find yours. I'm way too good at disposing of bodies. Not sure I want to taste your food anymore. Afraid you'll learn something about yourself you don't want to know? Anyway, girl, I know you're in it right now, but try not to let it get to you. Gina's gonna seem real boring after all this. Boring sounds so good right now. Binging terrible shows while my amazing roommate cooks something delicious. Heaven. Delicious food for tax returns? You got yourself a deal, mister. For what it's worth, I remember staring at the water during the funeral. Allison, please. I'm not going! Allison, come back! Two steps in, already started laughing. Yeah. Any hope that this would be easier than last time? Totally gone. At least this time, no one's sending me away. I'm holding you to that. Afterwards, you and I had a moment over there by the totem, right? I wonder if we can see that. Doesn't have to check. I won't let them take you away. I'm gonna tell them the truth. You swore, Allison. I'm gonna be okay. Please, don't worry about me. I know I'm supposed to get over this brother thing, but... I really wish you'd be able to go visit them much. Yeah, me too, but... Look, I didn't make any promises that day. You did. Watch. They all think you killed her. It's not fair. I'll be okay. You have to take care of yourself now. See? It's possible. But I don't think so. Well, I know so. 
thinking about it got me through the rest of the day. I'll be back soon, all right? But I'm gonna come see you every... I promise. Chief Brown's gonna take care of you. We'll be okay, you'll see. Kids. I'm sorry it took me so long to come back. I got so caught up in everything that you really don't have to explain. I understand what you were going through. Are you ever going to finish my sentences? <laughs> Maybe someday, but not today. You think Snowball still lives in there? Snowy owls only tend to live about ten years. Oh, rest in peace, Snowball. This spot's familiar. This is it, right? Yeah. God, I think I need a second. I'm gonna have a look around, okay? I'll be right back. She's gotta be here somewhere. I'm gonna have a look around, okay? Not this one. Still not the one. I'm gonna have a look around, okay? I'll be right back. Yeah, all good. No dice. Not hers. Why can't I? Where is she? Is that her? What the hell was going on with you? What? Broke? <laughs> Why didn't you say anything? We were your goblins. <laughs> you didn't have to do it all alone. I wasn't expecting to see... What are you... What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Feeling a little guilty, maybe? pass on. Our graves are all anyone has to remember us by. Letting hers just fall apart would be cruel. I'm not a cruel person. Cruel enough to call social services on our mother. I... I, I wanted to protect you. 
Marianne was getting worse all the time. I was afraid that if things kept going the way they were, then one day... We were going to end up dead? No, I won't do this again. I refuse to be held responsible for her choices. Marianne was fine until you reported her. Fine? She was getting by on handouts for years. There are only so many times you can show up high to a generous offer of employment. Assuming you show up at all. In the end, she isolated herself from everyone. She was alone and out of options. She had us! Until you threatened to have us taken away! I couldn't let her drag you down with her! She had you stealing for God's sake! Your mother never wanted to be a part of this community. She always thought she was better than the rest of us. A spoiled little girl playing fairy princess in the woods. If she just settled down with someone instead of running around with married men, well... Just ask Sam Kansky how much better that would have been for everyone. Wait, what? I... Oh, God. What happened between them? I, I wasn't thinking. Please, just forget I said anything. Tessa. All I know is whatever went on, Laura left Sam over it. But I shouldn't have said anything about that. I promised I wouldn't. I'm sorry, kids. I get that Marianne wouldn't let you help her. But there had to be a better way to deal with it. Especially if she was having some kind of crisis. Yes, you're right. There were other things I could have done. Better things. I know I've made mistakes. All I can do now is say that I'm sorry. If I could give you back your mother, I would. I don't deserve your forgiveness, especially yours, Tyler. But if there's a place for me in your lives, I'd like to be there. I have to know something first. Are you good with who I am? I've been thinking about that since you came home. I believe that my life is better for having lived it by God's word. But I also believe we don't always understand what he's saying to us. I pray for guidance. And seeing you standing here in front of me, such a strong and thoughtful young man, I think I have his answer. That means a lot to me. Thank you. Tessa, I know the last couple of days have been... hated. I'm up for a fresh start if you are, but it's not really up to me. Tyler? I'm done losing people. And if we can't let people grow, then what the hell kind of chance do we have? Thank you. Both of you. Kids, I never knew your mother's whole story, but it was obviously very painful. She always said you two were the only good luck she'd ever had. I'm going to try harder to forgive her. I hope you can as well. If you two are in town tomorrow, come by the cafe. Lunch is on me. They're gonna be coconut cake on the menu? You know, I think there just might be. I'll see you two tomorrow then. We'll be there. Come on. That was something, huh? Yeah, it was. I had pretty much given up on her, but I guess sometimes people change. I know. I feel like a total ass right now. You shouldn't. She needed to hear all of that. Yeah, you're probably right. Still, I might bring in a peace offering my first day back. Any ideas? Uh, Jesus stuff? Hmm. Maybe I'll just finally bring back that book I borrowed six months ago. You want to sit down for a bit? Not a bad view, right? Yeah. I get now why they put cemeteries in nice spots. 
Takes a little bit of the sting off. Listen, I know this has been hard. I'm really grateful you saw it through with me. Fireweed was great, but there was no one really there for me like that. You know, you're the only one. Hey, brothers and sisters, right? But it's been way more brothers than sisters lately, which is why I'm trying to say thank you. You really don't have to. You saved my life, Allison. Only for you to end up locked up in fireweed for the rest of your childhood. Wait, are you still blaming yourself for that? Don't. It was my choice. It's just... I stole your life, Tyler. And then I totally wasted it. That's not true. You're on your way to Denali. Michael's gonna be a famous chef. And, and what am I doing? Nothing. Nothing. You've been working on that accounting degree, and your art's good. Really good. Stop putting yourself down. As soon as we figure this shit out, we're gonna sell the house, and you're gonna go to Juno. You're gonna kick ass. You make it sound so easy. No. We never had a shot at easy. But we always pull through, right? Yeah. You're right. Hey. Wherever Ranger Tyler ends up next, he better come down from the hills to visit us city folk every now and then. You hear? For sure. And anyway, it's not gonna be for a while. We've got time. Oh yeah, of course. We do. So I guess we know the story now, huh? Marianne was done with Delos, and Delos was done with her. Maybe she was too proud, but... She worked so hard for so long, and when she reached the end of her rope, no one was there to help her. Not even Tessa, or Eddie. And when she heard social services was coming, she, she... Gave up, but killed her kids? Really? still feels like there's something missing, right? You're never gonna understand what was going through her mind. I'll bet even she didn't. It's probably always going to feel that way. Oh, I'm going to fall asleep the second I hit the couch. You better rally. We still have to do some cleaning before bed. Uh, do we have to? Hey, whoever packs the most gets the big couch tonight. Allison. I'll get the fire extinguisher. Tyler! Tyler, are you alright? Uh, Allison, barn. Stay there. I got it. What happened? Uh, there, there was a, a guy. He smashed me in the face with the door. What guy? What did he look like? I'm not sure. I couldn't see straight, and, and he was all in black. God. Why would someone try to burn down our barn? I don't know. But I'm going to find out.
Hey, come check this out. Is that a box under the barn? Yeah. What the hell? I think this is where the fire started. So he was trying to burn whatever's inside? We should check it out. I'm gonna need to remove a few more planks to get to it. Hmm. Where could we possibly find a tool to do that? I guess we know how he made the hole. Step back. I'll be fine. Well, I only know one person who'd bother to decorate a storage box like this. Marianne. Let's open it. Three digits. Any ideas? Mm. Marianne. was never really a numbers kind of person. That did it. Guessing she didn't know how much of an ass he'd turn out to be. Push Marianne to get an abortion, even though she wanted to keep us. That's everything. What the hell? So, Marianne hid a box under the barn, a box full of letters from our deadbeat dad. And a decade later, some guy comes along, trashes the barn, and tries to destroy the box. You thinking what I'm thinking? Yep. That guy had an affair with Marianne, and he just tried to torch the evidence. He must have heard we were clearing out the house. He was worried we'd find it. You know, I... I can't shake the feeling I've seen him here before. I would have said the same thing, but something felt different. I need to see the rest. But you know what happens down there. That's the thing. I'm not sure I do. All right. Let's go. Some kind of work boot. Maybe fishing boots? This is where I tripped. There was someone here that night? In the woods? No. It was just... I, I saw... Who the hell did I actually see? Damn. He ran straight for it. No stops. No turns. 
He was on a mission. Is there someone over there? The Mad Hunter! What? No. That... That was the Mad Hunter. What? What are you talking about? That night... I... Thought I saw the Mad Hunter in the woods. But I guess it was just some asshole. Some asshole who just fucking stood there and watched while our mother chased me with a shotgun. Do you think it was the same guy? Maybe. I mean, it had to be him, right? They were wearing the same fishing gear. Yeah, unless everyone who wants to mess with us is coordinating outfits. And wait! He was here once before. Wasn't he? A few days before Marianne died? Maybe? Hold on. Do you feel that? Trail ends here. It looks like he jumped into the gully. Hey, are there footsteps on the other side? Yeah, that must be where he climbed out. Well, he's long gone. Tyler, not there. Our mother fought with someone on the dock, about us. We need to know if it was the same guy. But what if it's not that memory? What if it's... I can't go through that again. We have to take that chance. But do we really? I mean, someone just tried to burn our barn down. Yeah, and that means we've got to be close to something. I'm not going on that dock. Just one more time, please. There's always just one more. Every time it seems like we're done with this, something new pops up. What if this is the only chance to figure out who our father is? Then we go on living our lives without him, just like we always have. Come on, we need to know the truth. For her. What if I don't want to know the truth, huh? Did you ever consider that? No. You just push and push and- You have to take responsibility for your part in Marianne's death. What? How... How... How can you say that to me? I didn't. But I, I did, right? Earlier, to Eddie. But I, I swear I didn't just say that to you. So we can't even trust our own voices now? God, I, I don't know. Allison. I'll do it. Let's go. Almost had it though. That was us watching Marianne fight with that guy. Try to focus on him, all right? Don't think about anything else. I've just been trying to survive. If you want to make sure I don't get desperate, you could help us out. Lend me some money. What happened? Why did it stop? I can't, Tyler. But 
We were so damn close. I'm sorry, but I'm done. That's it? You're just giving up, just like that. You can't do this. We owe her. Marianne is gone, Tyler. And nothing we do is gonna change that. Don't go, please. You can't keep running from this alley, or it's only gonna get worse. You're stepping on my foot. Can you hear what they're saying? Quiet. We don't want mom to catch us out of bed. There's no money. I've never asked you for anything, but right now they need you. It's not gonna happen. I've got everything I need to nail your ass in that barn. And just what do you think happens after that? What do you mean? Well... If those kids have a father, you really think there's a court out there that'll let you keep them? No! You have no claim to my children! Get the hell off my property, now! If you ever come back here, I'm going to kill you! Allison? There's something else. Look at this. What do you think? Should we give it a shot? I think the crafty goblins have one more hatch to sneak through. Let's go.